All right, you guys, so we're doing a little foreign urban exploration. What city did you say you think this is? Like Fireboro. Fireboro, Fairboro in California off the five. We're at an abandoned Foster's Freeze. I just wanted to go around and film it. I went around the whole building, did it. We're just doing a little Urbex video, just completely random. Side note, not part of any of the vlogs or anything. I don't Urbex that often, but I wanted to see what we could see. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, get this angle and see what's going on. Okay, we came upon an abandoned Froster's Freeze. There's zero people in this parking lot. So I'm just gonna drive very slowly around it and then I'm gonna walk up to it. There's stuff inside of it still. I'm not gonna drive through the drive-through because I don't know if there's broken glass in it. But I mean, I'll drive around it, you can see it. I saw some explorers earlier going to this Foster's Freeze, which is why I wanted to do it. I wanted to do my own urban exploration. I don't do this actively to look for things. Yeah, but let's do a little urbex. All right, you guys. So as you can see, there's, it's gotta be careful. There's glass everywhere, but. She's in a flip flop. This one's just straight abandoned. Like the furniture is still in this one. You can still see the ice cream machines here. The bars are here. The cooktop grill is here in the back. It's crazy. The old tables are here. So this is the drive through. We're gonna walk around. This would have been the old window where you would have pulled up to. Let's go over here to where you actually would have ordered. It's closed off as well. We're gonna do the whole circle walk around. Mark's walking around as well following. Huh? Oh. Um, Amazon electric car. The Amazon electric car. There's no license plate, so there's nothing to get. But let's keep going. So this is the old eight foot space sign. Doing a little exploring. Let's get in on this side. Oh, this side, it looks like they've completely fucked up the door. Oh, they have. I'm gonna try to slowly walk on here without like cutting myself or anything. But this is the other side. So that's the window I just filmed through where we parked. This right here, there's just graffiti all over the place. Look here, danger has a posse. Can we, it's a little scary. But yeah, just graffiti all over this place. Here's the old ceiling fans. It's just completely some urbex that I'm just doing. I can't, I'm not going inside. I don't wanna do that much. That's the bathroom, there's not much to see. I tried to zoom in on the kitchen. This is where you would walk in and sit. Old school, not old fans, they're not too old, but yeah, I mean, look at the computer on that. That is an old computer. Maybe this has been closed for 10, 15 plus years, but the computer, is showing signs of being 20 plus 30 plus years old so yeah it's pretty pretty old it must have been a long time since it got shut down i do see some other screens up there but it's pretty simple foster's freeze out here if you don't know or you don't live by one or you've never seen one generally you go here for their ice cream cones um but they also certain ones i know i've heard some do some don't most of them i've been to do they sell like hot dogs hamburgers you can buy french fries and a ton of other things and just little snack side stuff it used to be like the old corner spots you know where you'd pull up with your friends after school you could hang out eat some ice cream with your family and just chill but this is really not too much to show you guys i'll try to do one more walk around i see there's another broken window right there so let's go it looks like mark's over here it's gonna walk around so as you guys see there's just nothing i mean in this strip and there's a shell and a way back burger there's a little market over there there's some more gas stations and a tesla charging spot 
this restaurant looks abandoned whatever it used to be and then there's a taco bell so here you can see the actual old foster's free sign let's go up to this window and see if we can get a better view of the kitchen for you guys right up in here so yeah you guys can totally see now so that was just a bathroom there on the right over here is where you actually would have ordered that's where the old menu signs were i mean everywhere around here it looks like the menu has just been completely taken down whether that's by um abandoners or people who just stole it or employees who took away memorabilia i'm not sure looks like there's also a little fry basket right there that just got abandoned but yeah that's the old kitchen right there behind the front desk is where the fry area is where the pan is where they would have cooked the food this one is like a full sit down restaurant some would have just been like a walk-up bar but this is pretty cool so this is just the outside of the foster's freeze i will complete the circle now goals to like avoid the license plate on my vehicle at all costs if i can i know i could blur it out but who wants to do that much editing this is just the area where you would have exited the drive through foster's freeze i mean a lot of this this one has just been completely graffitied out completely abandoned just not taken very well care of i'm not even sure what this is a light or something I mean, it does show signs that it had modernism in it, but I mean, if you're looking at the furniture on this place, it's pretty old. The computers are very, very outdated, just showing signs that this place wasn't really having a lot of stuff up kept to it. They do have the electric freeze still. Like I said here, it looks like there's a fry machine. There's stuff in it, so I'm not sure if someone meant to take that during their heist, but they didn't. I mean, this is still just a normal average receipt printer. They still generally look like this, generally smaller, but I mean, if you see a lot of it here, like I said, thermostat's kind of newer, but I'll try to zoom in right now. If you look at this, and excuse me, my nails aren't the prettiest right now, but right over here in this area is like, that's the old computer screen, which if you're too young, you may not be able to envision that that's a computer screen, but it's a little computer screen. You might've seen it better when I was walking over, but just wanted to do a little urbex today, add in this little vlog here, show you guys what an abandoned Foster's freeze looks like, especially an older one that's more outdated, just before it completely just falls apart. I mean, you can see there was stuff going on. It looks like they might have even, I don't know if the ceiling, no, the ceiling's just falling. I know back in the day too, in ceilings, like they would put a ton of um, ivory and stuff that would just hang and fall and just create you know a little indoor kind of water scene then people started doing away with that now i see water fountains going back into places but yeah let me flip around to me so this is the abandoned foster's freeze that i decided to urbex walked around with mark i will include it here i am not an urban explorer i do not do this normally i'm not going in and trespassing and walking inside i just saw other people filming around it on my pit stop saw it and wanted to stop by. my way back burgers Oh, look at their milkshake, hand-dipped milkshakes. You hear that, hand-dipped milkshakes? Mm -hmm. Okay, we need your way back burger response. Mm -hmm. Thank you, your fries. Oh, look at those fries, you guys. Those aren't soggy. Promising. Then we'll try. Good. No, they're good fries. Need a little salt, but they're good. That is my bit. Let's put this over here. Give this guy a try. Let me see yours. So he just did a two patties, cheese, and ketchup, and nothing else. Ketchup, mustard, classic American. Um, all right, it's a little underwhelming. Oh no! You heard that, you guys? A little underwhelming. Out of ten, what do you give it? 
probably about a five. Man. And that's for flavoring. What about customer service out of ten? Um, probably about a five. <laughs> it wasn't exciting. Yeah. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't really engaged. Lady wasn't really engaging. Um, but if I needed something, really she got down. it. M menu was kind of hard to read. Uh, it's it good though, but bun isn't really cooked well, and like I said, the burger's a little bland. Uh, I think you're better off with in and out. Honestly, the best thing out of this place is their shakes, probably. This mud pie shake, fire. Yeah, that, I'd say that's a 7-2. Yeah, but the straw's a problem. Yeah. Okay, you need drink straws, and then you need straws your shakes can go through. Yes, Other than that, we cool. I'm gonna go ahead and include it, walked around what we saw, little pit stop area and everything, and then we're gonna get going. So thank you guys for watching this video. Not sure where I was going with this vlog, but I need to head home and finish up.